Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video demonstrating how you can use the Tableau Server API to iterate through a Tableau dashboard, changing the parameter levels and to generate a PDF of the dashboard at each of those parameter levels, okay? So um, this is just Tableau Public. Uh, it was in like a viz of the day or something. It was a pretty nifty little uh, dashboard, um, but so it's, you know, some banking advisor performance dashboard, okay? We don't really care about the content, but it looks pretty sweet, all right? But the key thing is, is that each, um, each level of this, oh, good on your Tableau, Tableau Public. You know, yeah, you're doing your best, all right. So I've actually gone ahead and download this anyway. So that's that's Tableau Public not being too happy. So this is the downloaded version, and I'll just um, I'll swap it to full screen. Yeah, okay. And so we can change the parameters, and it it adjusts um, you know the levels. So let's say we wanted to make a, a whole bunch of PDFs for each each um, advisor's performance and send them that PDF and say, hey, this is how you did last last fortnight. That's what we're trying to do. All right. Okay, so step one is you need a Tableau server. All right, so I've got a little local machine that I've just installed Tableau server on and um, and it works, it works pretty good. So let's go Nook, there it is, Nook server. And so it's not secure, it's just on my local network. So don't, don't get too worried about that. Um, let's just log in. Um, oh wait, no, I'm called admin, I think, yeah. Yep, so I've I've uploaded it the same dashboard uh, to my server, so that is that's step one and that's that's working. All right, so that's great. Um, what else do we need? So the the guy who made um, uh, this package, uh, this is a Python package um, that allows you to interface with the the Tableau Server API, and he's got some pretty nifty. Um, uh, YouTube videos on how to get started. All right, so I'm not going to go too deep into that. Um, so I, I figured out how to do it in Python. I'm not a Python developer. I'm a, I'm a R developer. Um, so what I did was I um, I made I did it in Python first to see I could do it, and then um, I've used um, a reticulate R package to do Python in R. Okay, I'm doing this the crazy way, but that's just the way I am because I can't even do a for loop in Python, which is embarrassing. All right, doesn't matter. You'll get the picture in a second. But we go back to my site and we go to your account settings or my account settings. And down here, we need an access token here, personal access token. So I think you need to be an admin to do this. Um, but you know, you can do it on a dev uh, server, not production, you know. Um, so I'm gonna revoke this after I'm done, but you can't even get to my network to access it. Anyway, doesn't matter. So this this gives you, if I, if I make a new one, it gives you a secret and um, yeah, so you need this, all right? So I'm just gonna uh, discard that. So we don't, we don't need it. All right. So we've made our little access token. So that is what's required here and then there. All right. So all this is doing is this is handling the login, the sign into the server, and then, um, so I'll just do it now. Let me just get this going. Here we go. Articulate and tidyverse. Let's make a string. I'll just mention as well before I had to install the package and articulate it's a bit funny on how it installs. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So that has made the string and then we want to run that string in Python. Give it a second. It's signing in. Fingers crossed. It's done. Okay. It's signed into my local server. Local. Good. Not my, not my public server. All right, and so in order to um, use a particular viz, we need to know its its view ID, all right? So, um, basically we make those objects and inside here, we can sort of try and track down the ID of the viz. So this is a, this is sort of a bit of a headache, um, but yeah, B3, it's one of those two. Anyway, um, the video covers how to, how to effectively do that, all right? So there it is there, that's our ID that we need. 
And once again, the YouTube video covers this as well, but this is just the Python for generating one particular PDF of that view. So let's, and it's outputting it to this brand, this misspelt brand new. All right, so there we go. So let's make that string and let's run that string. And then inside output, this should pop in here in a second. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, there it is there, okay. So this is for Burnell Weatherhead. Let's see if it turns out to be Burnell. All right, can we zoom in a tiny bit? Burnell, all right, so that's great. We've made a single, but now we want to iterate it. All right, so all we do is we got a list of all our advisors. And um, so we make a, a nice little R vector and we're going to loop for that vector and place their name into the call and then also into the PDF making call as well. So that's, we just for loop that. And so it makes that nice little string and then runs the string. And if we look over here, it's slowly gonna be starting to build up, oops, to build up all those PDFs. So it's just, you know, it's got like 24 of them or something. So let's just take a look at our Linda Jeff. There it is, cool. So that's, that's how you do it. Um, well, it's not really how you do it, but that is me doing it. And um, I think it's pretty powerful. So go ahead and figure that one out. Getcha, bye.